Hello world, it's me. It's oh, I sound so gross right now. I'm fighting a cold at the moment. Uh, the Black Plague, as they would say. He's probably, like patient zero. Probably not gonna make it. Um, it might so, be Zika. Yeah, it might be something else. Zombieism. Not gonna go, you guys. I'm just <sighs> necrotizing fasciitis. Okay. Oh god, yeah. that's scary shit. <laughs> that dude. is awful. That is awful. <laughs> Um, but live on without me, please. <laughs> live on. Carry, ah, survive. Carry on the chubby cat name. Uh, but hello, welcome to episode 12 of Chubby Cat. I am your co-host, Tom, and I am joined always by my lovely, lovely brother. And uh, This is Jason, the distributor of Dayquil. Yeah. And this is Sterling, the uh, proprietor of medical advice from an EMT standpoint. Oh, so official. Uh, but yeah, so we did a themed episode last uh, last episode, episode 11, about dating, and uh, it seemed to go over pretty well, so I think we're going to try to uh, try to tackle <laughs> some more of those. Um, My mic is just refusing yeah. to exist right now. And uh, so, yeah, we're going to do another themed episode. This, uh, this episode is going to be, I mean, men's fashion and... Uh, manscaping manscaping just, just grooming i mean we grooming figured, in general yeah i kind of I, I broached the topic and i figured holidays are always uh, you know important time to look your best yeah you want to look sharp you gotta go home and like meet girlfriends family yeah. or wife or you know you yeah you, have, you gotta make a good impression other bosses yeah. so you holiday work parties. parties yeah yeah a lot of reasons to look better than you know your uh your 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 cargo shorts and like t shirt and flip uh, flops with flip flops with sandals. All right, I'm yeah. gonna uh-huh. say this: if uh, you're wearing cargo shorts still, uh, stop. Unless it, this is like in a profession, if you work at Home Depot or you're like a gardener or something, cool, you wear those cargo shorts. But otherwise, just stop wearing cargo shorts. I mean, to be fair, I stopped wearing shorts. Like, I mean, shorts are still good, you guys. I mean, shorts I... are good. I enjoy shorts, but not cargo shorts. Yeah. If you want to look like you're, you know, 15 and trying too hard. Yeah, wear cargo. I still pants. wear uh, cargo pants though when I go hiking and stuff. Oh, that makes sense. Again, that's that's a situational thing. That's totally fine. Yeah, so, help me on men's because, fashion because I'm I'm pretty anti short. Oh, we're just getting into it right um, now. Yeah, okay. well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let yeah. yeah. I me mean, fucking jump right in. Let's just launch in. Let's start yeah. dispensing just knowledge like Pez. And also, I just want to. This is gonna be mostly a male per, like perspective of fashion and grooming. Yeah. I if, mean, I guess we can talk about preferences of what we'd like to see. Women, yeah, are, but I feel like the, that's a little yeah, sketchy. but I feel like it's a little sexist because women can do whatever the fuck they want. The same yeah. with men, but these, I, this I, is I our have, opinion. I have yeah. my preferences as far as like what I like in women's fashion. That doesn't mean that that's yeah, they right have to. That right, exactly. That's true. And, and it's the same with our opinion yeah. for male fashion. But yeah, uh, it yeah, you mean do that it's you right for you. Maybe except for the cargo. Yeah. Parts. So everything we say here today, just at the end of the day, just remember you do you. Whatever makes you feel comfortable. Um, just mom jeans. I'm talking to you. Ouch! So, Shots so, fucking fired. Help me to understand the difference with cargo shorts and regular shorts. What makes cargo shorts worse? Because I'm not, I'm not a proponent of regular shorts. Mm-hmm. I think those look just as juvenile. So what saves a pair of regular shorts but makes cargo shorts unacceptable? Well, there's clean lines with regular shorts. It's got a good pleat. You know, you can yeah. wear it to different events. Again, it's about cutting down heat for those of you who don't necessarily want to switch over to the kilt. Uh, again, the kil- is, you say those of you. That's like ninety nine percent of the population. Well, I know that's not a lot of people I mean. wear kilts. It, I'm trying to. I'm trying to not be so accusatory. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. So again, uh, it's it's kind of a high school fashion statement. It's summer. I, again, we live in Southern California, so shorts can be worn arguably almost year round. Every day. Not that they not that they should be, but they could, yeah. and people often do. But I don't know. The, and you r- never have that much stuff on you as a as a person as a man that you should have to wear cargo shorts yeah and like you were saying too like cargo shorts tend to be a little bit more loose fitting more baggy mm-hmm. um and yeah like i've uh, I, like i think really the only time like i ever wear cargo anything pants shorts um is like when i'm out like i just like i know i need the extra storage like so hiking camping um or like you know, even like sometimes working like working on, on something, the house, where yeah, working on a set, working where it's just like I need that extra pocket. It's a it's work attire if you need to carry extra stuff. Then yeah. it makes sense. I also, yeah. I also tend to sometimes do cargo shorts at like um, amusement parks, just uh, like 
like again like it's just that extra pocket again that sometimes makes sense as well yeah i mean it's it, just the extra pocket but it's not like an everyday that's like yeah it's not a great route to go yeah. it just it, it it's bulgy it's baggy you know it, you don't have enough on you to actually f- fill those pockets so it's kind of ridiculous you're you're wearing extra pockets for the sake of wearing extra pockets and you just yeah, kind of look ridiculous more pockets I yes guess like, so. you tend to also like if you have a significant other i feel like they like you to have cargo shorts because then they put their shit in your pockets very that's true. It's so true. true also in my case i like to wear shorts sometimes because uh for some reason the most muscular part of my body are my calves and so yeah, like, I, I have some that's a lot calves. of men yeah yeah yeah, so sometimes I just, like, bust Again, out those calves. We're going back to, like... Like the, Dr. Kelso from Scrubs. Yeah, the early 1900s where, you know, the, the calf was the most admirable, you know, feature of a man. Be, whether his face be fair and wh- whether he be strong or not, the calf was was yeah. the sexiest I wish, part. I wish we could go back to that time because also isn't that the time where, like, having a stomach also showed wealth? Yeah. Like, you could feed yourself? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that fuck was, yeah. Let's go back to much... the 1900s real quick, you guys. I'd, I would fucking get so many girls. <laughs> actually, <laughs> a trip down memory lane. <laughs> actually, oddly enough, I, I saw this online the other day. One of my female friends actually posted dad bod over gym bod. And she even did the greater than signal and everything. And then I saw a flood of just posters both male and female going like hell yeah dad bod for the win who wants to cuddle a rock you want to cuddle a teddy bear and stuff of that nature and i was yeah. like yeah, what dad, a time to be alive yeah dad also, bod is in right what now. a time it's totally it's, in it's and also, relatable it is relatable you know you know because yeah. dad bods ain't gonna cheat <laughs> like oh. they're gonna get they're gonna get like dad bods are happy with what they got they're like they're i like, found someone i'm not gonna die i'm holding on to this forever <laughs> okay Please hell, hold on now, we, we are we are drifting we are drifting away from fashion into fitness and men's health which that could be a different episode that's but, another episode uh, but yeah let's so we talked about shorts um i think all of us were pretty much jean wearers for the most part yeah um, oh yeah I, I i i wear jeans i like of course i like them i only have like two pairs though. really I, I have a lot of khakis but most because of work like yeah. i i i'm i work with a like business casual so like suit pants and khakis are what i wear most of my days so my wardrobe's kind of started to reflect that yeah, mine's jeans all the way. I own like, I feel like I only own like four pairs of jeans, but I own like twelve. Jesus, so, that's a lot of jeans. I know. Let's we're gonna sidebar here and talk about Thomas's jeans. Oh my magical what, power! What is your your latent superpower? Thomas? Uh, so I have this weird thing, and I I like I know the reason for it. I think, but hey, so I always rip my jeans in one specific spot, and that's right on my crotch, like right where like the seam meets, like where like the gooch is and like the head of the penis, I always get like giant holes right there. And I don't know why, but it's don't rip them anywhere else. Just right there. I feel like the... that specific Thomas anatomy. Thing. Yeah. Yeah. Where the seam meets the gooch and the head <laughs> of the, the penis. penis. <laughs> I think we just got like detailed <laughs> image of what Thomas's junk looks like on a daily basis. Thank you, Thomas. You're welcome. Oh, You're welcome. Thank you, Tom. Thank you. Um, oh, a little wow. to the left, a little to the left every day. Uh, but yeah, I don't know why, but, I mean, I kind of do know why. I think it's just because... I'm sorry. In my mind, there, I heard a little more to the left every day. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah. are you just like, it's it's like Tokyo drifting your dick like, yeah. in your pants? Yeah, every day. I'm just, <laughs> just a little more. A little more, to the little left. more every day. I have like a string tied around the head. And I just pull my my calf and tie it off. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, trying to correct that curve. Yeah. God, that's, <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. so frightening <laughs> so, and disturbing. So scary. Happy that's holidays. That's shit right there. Yeah, happy holidays. Um, but yeah, I think it's mostly because, like, I tend to wear... Okay, this is going to be a topic. This is going to be a debate right now. We Yeah, we're going to throw it out. <laughs> yeah, this is big. So I like Old Navy brand jeans. Um, <laughs> he does. They just they, 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 they tend to fit my body the best out of, like, you know, the Wranglers. Um, I had one pair of Levi's that were okay, but they weren't that great. Um, but on the old navy jeans, they tend to sit like not on your natural waist, but on your waist, if that makes sense. People out there who know fashion know what I'm talking about. Your hips. Your hips. Your hips. The low rat is. Yeah. Um, so I just like where they fit on my body. Um, he so, likes and, hip huggers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There you go. And that, I guess it kind of, that's why I get a little bit baggy in the crotch. And so when I tend to flex and stuff, that's why that area of my fabric gets worn out and that's where I tend to rip my jeans. That's the reason if you're wondering, not because I'm a giant penis or I do. I we never, we you never, never, you we never, never thought or that said was that not part of the debate. Yeah, that was not it. <laughs> uh, okay. But so, <laughs> so <laughs> with that said, old Navy jeans come with the right size zipper where it's like maybe like from, you know, 
like it's just the good size. But I've seen Jason and Sterling's jeans, and their zipper is like a foot long. It is the craziest <laughs> zipper I've ever seen. So we're talking an average size zipper versus a hip hugger like four inch zipper. Four it's inch. the like, craziest zipper. zipper. Like, it now, is the craziest he says zipper. The right kind of zipper, and that means for him because he wears his jeans at his hips yeah. and that's how he likes it so it is a shorter zipper than the average zipper on almost i'm gonna say probably 90 percent of jeans i just so weird like right. i i bought a pair of target jeans the other day which was horrible and uh yeah. and i tried to put them on my hip oh, yeah. and had the zipper and you guys it, like the zipper like i unzip it and i'm like seeing like upper thigh i'm like what is this i don't need all this space like it's just this one little area get in get out so again against his previous statement about the big dick we can kind of assume no i just i'm just saying space so. no i'm just saying like the area where i need to touch myself and get it out it's all right here where the zipper comes undone i don't yeah, need my zipper to start from navel up inches. here down to my thigh. It's not at your navel. It's like he's it's so fucking wildly high. <laughs> wild. <laughs> no, he's, oh, dude, it's like he's baffled by this because is, he only buys old navy style jeans. Well, this has are, been a discussion spanning years. 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 It is nearly a decade. It of, is the craziest. Freaking out at this. Is the craziest at zippers. Normal zippers. Uh, that's they're not normal. They're <laughs> abnormal. They are normal. Go go to Coles. Go to Mervin's. Go to anywhere else you can buy jeans. Go to well, I won't say Hollister because they will have a great deal of hip huggers and this regular size. American Eagle, go to anywhere else you buy jeans. That's what I said 90%. I'm going to stop you right there. American Eagle, that's where it's at. Yeah. Like American Eagle jeans, number I, one. I pretty much exclusively wear American Eagle jeans. Yeah. The I've two pairs you have? Yeah. Well, I, have, I, had, I had two pairs, and I was like, I'm going to get some more. But then they came out with this whole flex fit thing. Oh, God. And that added level of comfort... Now I have two pairs of the Flex Fit. I technically have four pairs of jeans, but I haven't worn my regular American Eagle jeans as comfy as they were. I have never looked back yeah, from I, my Flex Fit. I have probably <clears throat> two or three pairs of the old style jeans that are mm-hmm. non-Flex Fit, and I have not touched those suckers. It's in, god awful. Like, I, I feel bad. Years. But my legs feel so good. <laughs> yeah. They're so sad. The, fl- the Flex <clears throat> is where it's at. If you're yeah. going to do it, just get the full Flex no, it's I mean, beautiful. It's still a denim material. It looks classy. It feels great. There's there may be nothing better. And super durable. And they yeah. don't because they have that little bit of stretch and give. They they stay the right shape. Mm-hmm. Like you can wear them, you know, second day, and they don't. They feel not, exactly like yeah, they did exactly. that first time you. They're like them just out, out of the wash. Drawer. It's perfect. Mm-hmm. Mm. So I guess working up our body. So we've gone from. Well, okay, so we, we kind of skipped a little we kinda, bit. We started, we start, we started out like shorts and sock shoes. <clears throat> we'll just work our way up, though. Yeah. Like so and manscaping. I, and man, okay. We're now, get again, we, we did talk about manscaping, so we yeah, should yeah. probably... Yeah, like, part of it. Now, this is an interesting one. I just um, don't think below the knee there's any manscaping besides trimming your toenails. I mean, unless you're a swimmer. You don't you yeah. guys shave your feet? I know a so, lot of men no, shave their no. feet. No. Yeah, I like my hobbit toes. That's, well, no, I'm not. Saying, like I'm not disagreeing. I'm saying I don't shave toes. my feet. Okay, that's. I don't have fun. a lot of foot hair though. Oh, okay. I've see, got like six hairs. So. Oh, see, that's very different. Yeah, I don't like have anything on top. But or furry on the foot. I got, yeah. I got hair knuckle. Yeah, I might have like a, well, a hair yeah. or two on the right. knuckle, but I don't bother because I I have so little down there. I don't bother doing it. Also, it's, it's itchy with socks. See my feet. Yeah. yeah. Um, my my feet are clad in shoes until I get in bed. Yeah, and I like to be barefoot, so. That's where we're, true. we differ. Or socks sometimes, if they're cold. Um, but yeah, so shoes. I would say mostly, I prefer, like, I love the look of dress shoes with jeans. Like, that is probably my favorite, like, look when you can wear it. Like, I mean, dress shoes with, like, dress, you know, with khakis or dress pants is mm-hmm. good as well. But if you're in a casual setting, I would say, like, like I don't know, just adding Tossing that shoe. Up, yeah, just that, just that little bit just, yeah. like, makes the whole outfit look that much better. That, that, was, right now. that was actually one of my first comments at a party in college i was at a fraternity party and uh i was wearing a pair of maddens and with jeans and literally guys and stuff was like hey man those are sharp what what, what are those I'm like oh they're just a pair of maddens and just what are those they're called dress shoes they're called, dress <laughs> they're called shoes. Let me, shoes let me introduce you to this wonderful world yeah. of dress shoes uh, yeah. outside of sperry's a lot of sperry's get worn in the the college setting and say what you will i just don't find them comfortable myself yeah. here's so. the thing though when you when you enter your 20s you you have that golden opportunity to start making that crossover from the tennis shoes to the dress shoe. That's true. Um, yeah. 
And it it says a lot about you if you can make that shift and be comfortable with it before your peers. Yeah. And um, then they don't have to be expensive shoes too. Like I think yeah, no, for just... the longest time I went to Walmart and bought like mm-hmm. just like the black loafers. Mm-hmm. Anything you can and you put just a slide them on. On. Yeah. And Anything just... you can put a polish on cl- instantly class. Yeah. Up. People are just like, Oh, why? And like the funny thing is people always comment like, Oh, why are you so dressed up? And it's like, I'm not dressed up. These are comfortable ass shoes. And mm-hmm. like, I don't know, like something about putting a dress shoe on with especially jeans. Like it just accents the line of your pant. Oh yeah. And Absolutely. like everything. Like I just feel like, Especially when you're a straight cut or like a regular cut, mm-hmm. something more slimming or so, like straight you know, cuts work. Yeah, you just kind of see, like that definition of the pant to shoe. I think the age of the baggy pant is finally on its way out, and I'm pretty happy about it. Thank oh God. yeah, like loose and stuff. Uh, oh, the worst. The worst were painter jeans. Painter jeans. Yeah, oh, that man. was a nightmare, and they were the only kind you can get seemingly for a yeah, period those of the 90s. 90s. Yeah, that was bad. <laughs> but no, I, I absolutely agree, and I'm like these shoes that I'm wearing right now. Um, it's just a pair of like reddish brown oxfords that I, I really enjoyed the color of because they're kind of they, they really pop but i got them at pay less than like 30 bucks yeah um, don't and then I, i've well. gotten a lot of um if you can find them if you find a good deal on them um certainly i'm both a big fan of rock rock ports. ports um they're very comfortable and they last comfort ever and durability um, and i think i got mine for like 45 dollars at like burlington co factory mm-hmm. um really nice and you can after get this brown, podcast black, you guys of... i'll have to show you the wonderful world of shoe metro <laughs> Oh yeah, please. Do. Oh yes, please do. But yeah, no, it, it's definitely it, it's a cool thing. Um, so yeah. no, we wear a lot of dress shoes. Um, Casual, I just wear tennis shoes, and that's mostly because I stand on my feet all day where I work, yeah. and so have, again, wherever comfort. your work environment yeah. is, you know, <clears throat> something that looks nice, but you again, you're wear for comfort and for durability. Like I have worked at Home Depot and for a time there it was great to wear a tennis shoe because I was running around a lot. Yeah, when you're just on your feet. You then you're just on your feet. And then made a, a transition to where there was a lot of heavy stuff and a lot of potential like crushing. And so then I went over to like a work hiking boot. It was a tall leather boot. And I, I'm a big proponent. I, I do love a good pair of boots in just about any style. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, good know, boots and jeans are great. Exactly. Great look, too. Get, get you're, yourself you're more casual. Some, yeah. Get yourself some great <clears throat> inserts. It's a big thing for manscaping mm-hmm. because after a while, you will start hurting. And you don't get a second pair of feet. Believe me, as much as the doctors try, and they've been trying with me, uh, that you do not get another pair. And so it really all starts from the ground up. So get yourself a great insert that's really comfortable, that's going to make yourself comfortable for hours. Put that into whatever shoe you're going to wear, and uh, you'll thank yourself for it. Yeah. You know what's like weird, too, is like, because, I mean, you have like Aboriginal people who don't wear shoes, you know, and their feet are totally flat and stuff, and they don't tend to really suffer from, like, back problems and stuff like that. And it's because of modern day us wearing these shoes that changes the arts or arcs of our feet and all this stuff like you know we get those issues of like oh my back hurts or you know knee pain and stuff like that because i don't know it's just like a weird interesting thing to think about so we have to get like the special insoles just to help oh yeah counteract like the weird way our shoes have uh, messed up our feet so also i'm sorry to just to backtrack a little bit no, because right talking about like fashion and stuff we talked about dress shoes there's a lot of different types of dress shoes. There too. are, yes. Um, and just to kind of, if you if you're new to that concept and trying to branch out, um, a good pair of Oxfords, like is is probably gonna be your your go to type yeah, of shoe. That's a great one. Um, a slip on <clears throat> style Madden in black or something of that nature. There are there are a lot of different brands. Well, so there's loafers, which are the Loafer, slip on yeah. type, which you can find, and those are more casual, um, which can be very comfortable and, and a great like look. But you're not going to really elevate those past jeans for the most part. Um, you can wear it with a suit. You can. It's, yeah. just, it's it's not as formal, obviously. Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, and then, like an Oxford, which is lace up, and they have, um, like mine, they usually will see them with uh, like almost like holes, like like pinpricks it's, in it's them on purpose. It's a pinprick stitch design. Um, those are going to be your, they can go up or down. So they're a very flexible shoe for your if you're going for a first foray into dress shoes. True. Um, and then you you start to elevate <clears throat> like past that and and you get more and more formal but if you're looking for a versatile shoe my personal opinion is that an oxford is probably going to teach you the best it's a round toe shoe that can go with pretty much anything yeah. especially in brown it's pretty flexible again black goes with black but then a brown shoe goes with a blue suit with a gray suit mm-hmm. and you're you're really that's interesting too so like game. speaking of i mean 
we do a whole episode on shoes, unfortunately. Oh, yeah, it's bad. So, you know, you're talking about your round round toe and stuff. Mm-hmm. But I also, I also prefer, like, the point sometimes in some of the shoes. I mean, I'm not talking about, like, elf point. But, like, no, no. in dress shoes, you know, it comes up to a little mm-hmm. point and stuff as well. I also think sometimes that could be class. Yeah, like, well, yeah definitely, again, a more formal. Yeah. You, you see got, a lot, like, in military uniforms and stuff right, like you that. You got, the like, the square toe tends to be a uh, more of a loafer style. Mm-hmm. Um, and you, it just tends to be a little bit less formal um and it also you know it's about your foot comfort too some exactly. people if you have a wider foot a square toe is better for you yeah um, but if you've got a regular to narrow size foot the point can be a really cool look slip that on mm, <clears throat> real slippy um yeah yeah should we, address, right, well, should we address socks while we're on the subject of people <clears throat> we're starting to we're building the man up no i mean, I mean we already what about formal socks i'm just saying i mean people dress don't, socks people don't understand the the length of that a sock needs to truly be to be considered formal or to go with a I mean, I certain think, type of shoe i think we can sum it up by saying like don't wear ankle socks don't like yeah. and, and don't Unless wear like shorts don't wear white socks don't like, if you're wear gonna, whites. like this Actually, is this is informal just phase setting, them, like yeah just yeah. phase them out i, I don't much, care no, i'll wear get, tennis shoes with my dress socks i don't care like i only have dress socks yeah like I, or just black socks i'm sorry to say just get rid if you have white socks and yeah, less you're using out. to masturbate into get rid of it just get rid of it that's a little a little harsh i have white ankle socks no yeah get, really? rid, of get rid of them no. <clears throat> personal preference yeah. but I, I i mean i have a ton of black socks but i also still have like you know 10 pairs of white ankle socks i don't have any more tube socks though oh that's good i've gotten rid of the tube socks i have a couple mm. of pairs for i don't know like i used to play soccer so I have a couple of pairs of. If I ever end up playing soccer again, like I have a couple yeah. of pairs. See again, to throw situational, on that. fine, but that's like a specific sport, like yeah. right. But if you're wearing regular shoes, get rid of your white tube socks, your white ankle socks, and throw them out, and just wear regular socks, black socks, or patterned socks if you're a little bit more adventurous. Many of mine are patterned with like little humorous designs or colors or what have you, yeah. and they should hit up to about your like center of your calf. Yeah. Mid calf is where you want your <clears throat> socks to be at. If you're wearing pants and any kind of well, any kind of shoe really, but right. uh, but mostly dress shoe especially. All right, moving on. Yeah. Um. Let's hit belt. I guess. You want to belt it, um, or do you want to talk about? Or do we want to talk about escaping, grooming. grooming down? Like cause we're talking about. You said manscaping. You did. Yeah. And grooming. I I keep it trimmed. Yeah. And I think that's all we have to say about that. I mean, I guess it all comes down to your preference, but the seventies are over, and also I don't feel like you need to be barren. Trim, trim is nice. Well, yeah, keep it uh, stylishly groomed. I personally like. What to, do you mean uh, stylishly groomed? Like with designs? You put well, you certainly put your jersey can. number into it. Like a one up. I will sometimes put an S. Why not? I'll make a Superman symbol. Okay. Do a diamond. Okay. How, how good does that S look? It looks decent. I've no. been practicing for years. Mm. Do you want me to whip out? I mean, I don't have it right now, but it's winter. <sighs> I do not want to see. You exactly. <laughs> anyway, I do not. That's... Just the. I do not want to see that. Anyway. You you got into <laughs> side tangent. You got into this weird habit when you pee with the door open. Now he does do with that. us and keep the conversation going. I'm he like leans out. It's, we're, it's awful. we're in a trailer. It's small. You guys can hear me in the, the bathroom or not. I figured I. Yeah, it's know. just a interesting habit that you picked up recently. Yeah. yeah. Then we called him on it, and he's like, "Well, I'm not going to do it this time." Yeah, because we well, were actually honest, looking I at just, the I've gotten very, I don't know what it is, but getting into my recent relationship and getting to the stage where I've just gotten very comfortable, and especially with the surgeries and stuff, I've gotten very comfortable with other people being nearby when I'm showering and urinating and everything. It just, I don't care right now. It's like, all right, whatever. Yeah, we just, care. And that's, <laughs> right that's fine. That's I mean, fine. although, <clears throat> another it's tangent off the tangent, uh, Oh, Lord. I weird. know. I was listening to another podcast, um, If Lands Could Kill, and uh, they were talking about how, like, because it's four guys, and they're kind of talking about how they joke around with each other. And I guess one of them one day took his dick, put it in a hot dog bun, covered it with ketchup, and, like, sent it to one of the guys. And the other guy was oh. like, oh, man, I love you. Like, just, like, laughed about it. Yeah, and I was like, oh, man, this is would, a special type of friendship. Yeah, I would not be happy if you guys <laughs> did that to me. I would not be happy. All right, but I back... know if you could do it, so they don't make hot dog buns that small. Oh, oh get fucked. Oh, honestly, <laughs> get fucked. Oh, maybe you strap in a croissant and make a pizza in a blanket. I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <gasps> that hurt me saying that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I take it back. I take it back. I have not once like insulted you guys on this thing. I oh. could. I really could. Mm-hmm. And I choose not to. <laughs> uh, okay. Anyway. So keep you're, the trim. One, you're the one that, that brings it up. You leave the door open. It's like hard. what? Oh, please. I brought the hot dog bun. Yeah. 
Yeah, but Sterling, it was his Sterling's the one that talks about how free he is with his dick right now. Uh, I, I want to break free. Anyway, <clears throat> again, I like to leave mine more like a ivory tower. I leave the base completely barren of any brush, and then you know, and then I just keep the rest of it trimmed down a bit. Nice. Yeah. Have you guys ever cut your dick while shaving? Oh, but not bad. No. <clears throat> no. 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 I. I don't think I've actually ever cut my dick. I have. I've cut my balls though. Oh my oh. god. Oh my! Like I just made mine rise up. (laughs) No, but again, it was more like a nick. Like I didn't even realize it until like like you're done after the fact. Oh, I'm kind of like bleeding. Like I've cut I've cut the shaft a couple of times. Mm. It's not fun. No, nope. I have a very I have a very practiced and steady hand when it comes to shaving that area. As to where when I'm clearing around the the tower in the base, so to speak, uh, I have nick there. But yeah, 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 it's like nicking your face. But I think it's enough for that. Yeah, Yeah, yeah. But belts. Again, belts belts must belts. match the color of your shoe yeah that's Enough a said. big mistake that a lot brown of belt with brown make. shoes black belt with black shoes so unless you're doing some weird power power play with uh the patterns oh yeah. yeah you could try a pattern belt but that's always though a nice knit belt sometimes is, is good a knit belt like, can be good. yeah like those power clashes you know what i'm saying like when people wear like weird plaid shirt with like a striped tie yeah like purposely clashing yeah even then though i i, I don't often see the the mismatch things as a deliberate move yeah um yeah i'm trying to i think, mean like i mean they sell reversible belts yeah there's not a, not a whole lot to be done yeah just, in this yeah. regard reverse belts are we're in an age that's very easy to do um, belts are also pretty cheap, so it's easy to pick up two of them if you don't also a reversible. Also, you wearing pants, put on a belt. I don't care. I don't care if you put them on the beginning of the day and you're like, oh, these fit fine. Just put them on a belt. Just, yeah, just I wear have a belt on. Yeah, fit perfectly because yeah. it, it, it's again, it's a it's a piece of the outfit. It's yep. not optional. Yeah, yeah. So, not anymore. You're not twelve. Put a belt on. Um, I have several belts. Mm-hmm. I have a formal belt that's more like leather. I have like an everyday belt that's just like just casual, and then I have a couple of like knitted belts where I'm just like, put them on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, There's I'm not the much way. to be said on the topic of belts, but it just it is something that's important. That we should yeah, have. not much to be said about the same time. Put on a belt. Yeah, just put, put them on. on. Belt. Just wear it. Um, okay, so shirts. Shirts. Um, and I guess we could layer this because there's a lot that can go in your torso. Yep, we gotta go through it fast um, though. Yeah. So, um, undershirts always. Nah. Sometimes. I'd say sometimes. I wear them always. He wears them always. I know you do. Um, you also button your button up to the very top button. I don't talk. Like, you, okay, you say that, like, you make it sound like I'm wearing it, like, like my neck button. Yeah, you but do you sometimes. do sometimes. I do sometimes, but it's more of, like, a joke. Mm. No, you're doing it pretty seriously. You do it regularly enough <laughs> to where you're just dressing yourself. It's weird. Oh, polo shirts, yeah, I'll do it all no, the way to yeah, the top. That's just not. That's wrong. No. Okay, so. It is wrong. It's not Fashionly, wrong. It is, it is wrong. wrong. It's just a clean line. Because when you when you don't do it, awful. when you don't do it, then the collar of like the polo like folds over and it gets weird. And no, it's just gross it really looking. doesn't. It does not. Yeah. It does not. You just got to keep your I've polo. I've worn no. many of polos and that has never been the that case. That is not quality. I've worn many of polos too, dude. Like, I'm just saying. I don't, I don't know what the case. I'm just saying. Uh, I'm just saying. Like, po- you're I'm saying in, you're in, arguing. You're arguing. You can't just. You can't be like, I want a lot of polos upset. and I'm just saying. Like, I want a lot of polos and I'm just saying. In every polo I have worn or seen someone else wear, they have unbuttoned that button and it's been fine. So this issue that you're having sounds very much like it's a you issue. Or it's just I'm I like how my polos look when the button's all the way topped and that's, you got to deal with it. That's still not how it should be done, but why? It looks kind of dorky. It looks that being said, dorky, but okay, anyway. it is again personal preference. Yeah, okay, it's personal preference. Yeah, how, so, I'm not saying like anything you wear is wrong. I know, I'm not saying that you're wearing it wrong. No, I'm just it is. That, you literally I'm just saying, said I'm saying like, that it is wrong to do so, but I'm not saying it's wrong for you to stop. Okay, you, that is you that keep is, doing, but it, yeah, you're allowed to do something wrong. It's America. You're allowed to do something wrong here. Okay, but I just want I just want to. I just want to point out, you just said, no, whatever you're not doing is wrong, but whatever you, what you're doing is wrong, but you're, whatever, you can keep doing it, even yeah, though it's wrong. exactly. So you, it's just the most backhanded, like, stabby, like, yeah. you're doing it wrong way to say it. Just yeah. say, you feel like well, I'm doing like, it wrong. Well, it's not like I'm going to go into your home, stop you, and, like, cut off every button of your polo because it is wrong. They make buttons there, so they allow for people to do so. Yeah. <laughs> doesn't mean it doesn't, you know, look r- not right. <laughs> I think it looks fine. That's that's totally fine. Again, an opinion thing. I guess so. But you're saying you're making it like you're saying like your opinion is more validated than my opinion. So I didn't say that right now. 
I know you didn't say it, but that's what you're making it sound like. I whether you, that's how you hear it, that's totally fine. But that's oh my god, right now, if that's how you hear it, it's totally fine. <laughs> I know, but, but you're allowed to be wrong. That's all yeah. I'm saying. But you're allowed to hear it that oh way. Oh my god, fuck <laughs> you right now. Just oh, okay. Let's let's bring it down. <laughs> uh, undershirts sometimes. Um, let's try to go for solid colors. And also, don't wear black undershirt with like a white button down. No, That's Heather Gray strange. is actually the best way. Yeah, it doesn't, gray, it gray breaks, actually blends the. It blends, so you don't see like the the sharp cut off between like where your white undershirt hits your arm. Yeah, and you also don't get <clears throat> weird sweat stains. Yeah, it's true. It, it it definitely preserves the length of a white shirt. If you're wearing a darker dress shirt, not always necessary, but white you should usually have a a uh, undershirt. Yeah, always um, have a white and black button down. I would say. But don't be afraid of colors. And, I would say colors, yeah, are, colors probably, are huge. Yeah, are awesome. And patterns. Good and red. patterns, yeah. Yeah, something, <clears throat> something like that really I prefer flashes. plaid. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you've ever seen it, but I like plaid patterns yeah. a lot. You may have seen uh, any picture of him. Any picture of him. I, yeah, just about. I guess, I guess my daily outfit, you could say, is jeans, tennis shoes of some sort, just because I'm on my feet all day, like I said, and then a button down of some type, like every day. A lot. Yep. Um, Mostly plaid, <clears throat> yes. Let's see. If you if it has a hem that swoops, tuck it. It should be tucked in. Yeah. If it has a flat hem, then it should be untucked. Um, and that should be pretty this... elven too, because <clears throat> when it's not long enough to be tucked in, whenever you bend over, it's gonna come untucked. Come like untucked. you'll know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's annoying. You will find out. <clears throat> Thomas has a couple of these. They actually work for him. Um, they do not work for me. But as a general rule, I would say if you're going for a full on button down, avoid short sleeves. Yeah, just roll um, up the sleeve. For, it works for the some guys. The sleeve works really well, and it gives you two options of either short or long sleeve. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I just want it to be a bit more of a versatile garment. But yeah. again, if it makes your arms look kind of like stubby and odd, don't do it. Again, also buy a shirt to your size. I know this sounds weird, but if you honestly, you know, put yourself in a XL to a double XL, and you're a little bit larger, it helps a lot. And uh, this is just a matter of keeping it clean and sometimes things are you talking about rolling up the sleeves still yeah okay yeah okay yeah i don't know yeah roll up the sleeves um most shirts now that you buy like just casual like button downs will have like a little extra piece of fabric underneath the sleeve once you roll up to button up the sleeves so yeah keep it rolled yeah that's which is really nice pleasant um yeah, buying shirts that are your size, I would say, is probably the most important thing as well. Yeah. Like, well, I, I, something that you're comfortable in, like, <clears throat> doing the cross check with. Not yeah. just with shirts, but with anything, right? Like, just, if, if you're getting dressed, like, make sure you actually know your size. Like, don't guess. And if you don't know, like, people in department stores can help you. Yeah. Like, as someone who works in a department store. they be like, store. hey, like, well, does this fit? And, like, they'll tell you, like, oh, that that suit jacket is too small. Or, like, that, that sweater is too baggy. Like... You should just have fitted clothes. It shouldn't yeah. be tight, but it should be fitted. You know how many times I try on clothes for customers? Like they're like, "Hey, you're like about the size of my husband. Can you try this on for me?" Yeah, and I'm like, time. Yeah. "Yeah, try this." On. You just have to ask. If you yeah. don't, if you don't know, like it's not a bad thing, but and just learn it. Most stores also have a uh, tape, like um, measuring tape. So if you don't know your waist size or your yeah your seam, like just ask and yeah, we so can it's, help you it's out. good to find out your measurements. Just like it's good to find out your blood type. So if in case of emergency. You know. That's why I keep yeah. Jason around. He's the only donor. Yeah, I'm O, o negative. So. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, so um, we talked about shirts. Let's talk about, like, sweaters and stuff. Jackets. Yeah, uh, I wish... Jackets, just like the outer layer. Jackets, I love jackets. We can spend a whole episode on shoes and jackets. We could. Yeah. I have a whole closet dedicated <clears throat> to just jackets. It's very true. Um, I wish it was colder more because I have a lot of winter coats. I like heavier coats. It's like pea true. coats, as do I, and uh, and that things. Those are always great. Like I feel always. like you can throw those on mm-hmm. with anything. It just looks. Come good. on, I have a long oh, just wool black coat. Love it. It's yeah, wool black coat entire... with jeans Those and dress are... shoes. Oh yeah, done. Sharp. Done. But in Southern California, do I get the chance to wear it often? No. No. Nope. Not really. Not at all. Even sometimes, it yeah. makes me sad. Um, Jason's got me into blazers recently. Yeah, blazers wears... are great. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Steinmart. <clears throat> Oh, Steinmart. Steinmart. Steinmart, Burlington. Much love. And again, you you want, if you're going to get a couple of jackets, get some versatile ones. Um, You get a nice gray jacket, um, get like a tan or a khaki colored jacket, and then get like a bold color. Like I had like, I have a white one. I have like a, I had a dark green one that I actually gave to Sterling uh, because I need to downsize my amount of jackets. Thomas, I have a purple one. Thomas is like a red velvet one. Like we have have a red velvet one. I have a checkered um, one. Like, yeah, yeah, we have some cool, like, 
pop jackets that are eye catching. They look really cool. If you have the rest of your outfit kind of muted, if you're doing the tennis shoes and jeans and like a you know a black shirt and like a purple jacket or something, you know, it's, it's it makes a cool fashion statement yeah. um, that you don't see a lot of in in days of just the muted colors. Now you want those muted colors because they blend with a lot of things. But it's also nice to have like that one piece of your clothing that's like, damn. Yeah, that accent piece. <clears throat> yeah, like um, I have a number a number of handkerchiefs that I will keep with my, especially my my black suit. It's a black vest, black pants, black jacket, and so then and I'll often wear a white shirt underneath it. You know, sometimes tie, sometimes not. And if I wear a tie, I'll match it to a uh, handkerchief or not. I'll like just, a little pocket square. I'll just do a pocket square handkerchief mm-hmm. in my side that. Brings that little pop of color. <clears throat> I have a huge variety of them. Bought it on Amazon for like five bucks and yeah. gave me like twenty. It's awesome. Yeah, pocket yeah. are great. Again, just a nice little color dress pop of color. color piece. Uh, um, vests are also a good like piece you want to throw on if you don't have a jacket. Vests are also great. I'm, I'm wearing one right now. They just they are a good layering look, um, and they can go with anything from yeah. like t-shirts to Henleys to dress shirts. Yeah, yeah. Um, they you, can you also can... help kind of give slim slim you down a little bit. Mm-hmm. If yeah, you're if, worried about if that. it's the right size. If it's the right, right. size. Yeah, and again, that's a great thing with. Yeah, you know, former well and dressing up a little bit. You know, if you are a little not as comfortable in your own body or you have a little self doubt, dressing up a little bit can make you feel a little bit more confident. Oh, you definitely get definitely attention. Slim, oh, absolutely. Yeah. slim you down a little bit too. So I've had I dated a girl once who said every time I wore a vest she wanted to jump my bone, like in public, just because she loved the way it looked. I mean There you it's, go. It's one of those things, like I mean, again, we're talking from the male's perspective perspective because that's what we, we all are. are. Yeah. yeah. Um, so maybe different for other people, but yeah, like it's my experience. People who dress well and you have more confidence, we have more confidence than you tend to attract, you yeah. know, the confidence people. is an attractor. Yeah. Uh, and dressing well really helps you not only stand out from the crowd, um, but it also, it definitely, it, it says confidence. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, it, it's very challenging to put effort into the way you dress and then come off like timid or shy or unsure about it. Yeah, because yeah. you just put you feel like you look good, so people are gonna think you are good, look yep. good. Yeah. Okay. Um. Uh. Kind of moving really accessories quickly, real quick accessories on like wrists quick. and fingers. Let's do yep. them together. Um. Analog watches. Uh. And unless you're unless you're doing again like some sort of like sporting event or something, don't do digital. Yeah. 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 You're digital not. Watches you're, you're not a kid. You're old enough to understand and, and read an analog watch. Yeah. You should have a nice analog watch. We're not talking crazy expensive. You can get a good one for anywhere from like fifty to one hundred dollars. Yeah, dude. There's so many stores. other podcasts that hey, do you can, podcasts. You can get one for you, ten bucks. They yeah. give you crazy oh, yeah. discounts on Warby. Uh, not Warby Barker. Um, what are the websites right now? Uh, Movement Watches is yeah. one that's yeah, really good. There, there's some cool stuff out there. Um, I'm a huge fan of Original Grain. They do like wood inlay watches. Mm-hmm. Um, I have a couple of those, but they're just cool. It, yeah. It's again a good accent piece, um, and you should always have a watch. Don't yeah. rely on your phone. And we're saying, all, yeah, like everyone nowadays just takes out their phone to check, but like. When you go and check your wrist, and you're like, "Oh, it's this time." Like, I didn't even take out my phone. Like, this is a statement. About it that. speaks to reliability in a mm-hmm. sense yeah. too. Yeah, I'm a big fan of Kenneth Cole and Fossil. Yeah, they have a lot Huge of good fan. automatic movement yeah. watches as well. So. <clears throat> now it's actually really funny that you say, like, I love analog, and uh, most of my watches are analog. But I actually have, and I guess it is kind of comes down to your job and stuff. But I actually have a digital watch that I like to wear, and it, I mean, like I said, it's like a fifteen dollar watch, but it's one of those watches that I can throw on, and like because of what I'm doing, like. I bang Beat my up. wrist on everything. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I buy like six of them and they're just good. Like, Oh, hit it. Okay, cool. It doesn't work anymore. I switch it out. Like, I don't know. And it's like, I'm really into watches right now with big faces. So yeah. it's just, I don't know. It's just like a good weight on my wrist. Yeah. Yeah. Good I, once watch had, I once had a guy hit, drop a metal beam on my wrist and thank goodness I was wearing a digital watch. It literally, it shattered the, the face plate and everything, but because it was a, uh, you know, sturdy plat, uh, rubberized, like digital watch, it, freaking save my wrist yeah and then yep. also um let's talk bands real quick so i know you guys both have like metal or metal bands right with like i'm rocking leather right yeah now. see i like the leather look yeah more. i'm big on leather like the metal's good mm-hmm. um but i've always been a fan of like just like the slickness of like the leather yeah, yeah. ultimately kind of depends um i like the metal band look if i'm trying to go um almost like the like the classy especially for like my original grain it has like wood inlays in it again, so it's kind of a cool look. Um, for comfort, I prefer like the synthetic bands if I'm going to be doing anything active. Um, and then I like the leather look a lot too. You just got to get a a good enough quality leather that it is going to a be tough, but b get supple and and like comfortable. You yeah. don't want to be mm-hmm. stiff. As you wear it, it should <clears throat> move and change with you. It exactly. Should, yeah. Uh, rings, real quick. 
we wear rings. I'm a, I'm a big fan of rings. I yeah, wear, I wear at least two. Yeah, I think I you guys had me on rings for a little while, but I think like for some reason my fingers always swell so much, so like they always got uncomfortable. So I just, Mine swell too, but I just get, I mean I've big hands, so it's a big ring. Yeah, but that's that's just kind of one of those things. Yeah, maybe mm-hmm. it's one of the things where I just kept wearing them more. I just get used to it. Yeah, like, you, you start to ignore. Like I don't even feel my wedding ring. Yeah, anymore. Like I was really aware of it for a long time, but then now, like now I just it's just there. Yeah, it just goes. Um, <clears throat> yeah, rings. Again, make a cool statement sometimes. Um, don't go too much. On yeah, your ring. you don't have to be. Yeah, you don't. Really something should, weird and gone. those weird like. like knuckle rings that like look like dragon claws yeah don't do anything again crazy. If, that, if that's the style you're into if you're going to a metal show or, and, or you're gothing it I mean, out yeah. like people used we're, to we're talking christmas so maybe yeah. maybe don't wear it to grandma's exactly yeah. um, i mean unless but, you want to make that kind of impression <clears throat> yeah but i i wear two rings i have my wedding ring and then i just have like a like a silver band with like gold and it's got like some celtic knotwork in it it's, it's like it should make a little thing and you should also try to balance the amount of rings on your hands so if you have one in your left hand put the other one on your right hand exactly not necessarily the same finger like i wear one on my my wedding ring on my ring finger but then my metal band on my middle finger of my right hand so exactly like, it helps to offset it a little bit and there are actually a lot of charts you can find online that will denote the mm-hmm. what a what ring each wears, ring represents yeah, on each and, hand and on, on each finger so that's you can, a good there's thing. like thumb rings pink rings all kinds of things yeah. and yeah and they usually will like in some cultures i think things. uh they actually wear their wedding band on the right hand instead of the left mm-hmm. and stuff. Like mm-hmm. I wear, you know, a clotter ring. You wear that on the opposite hand. If you're in a relationship, you wear it on the right hand on the ring finger. That and you face the crown out, and that denotes you're in a relationship. Mm-hmm. If you are single, you flip it around, and the the crown faces towards you. Yeah, and the heart when, means you're open, right? Exactly, Looking, yeah. and so your heart is open. And then if you get married, you can then either keep that clotter or go with a wedding ring. And if you keep the clotter, you switch it over to your left hand, and you. Uh, put a crown out yeah i think doesn't your dad wear my one? dad wears a yeah. clotter as well yeah as i'll tell you actually almost all the men in my family wear clotter rings yeah. as well with like a wedding ring or with another ring yeah yeah and then i just wear another it's a awesome silver scroll work ring that my uh of a tree that my girlfriend got me from the ukraine actually so yeah I, and it's just and see it's one of the things one it's where like it. his that ring he's talking about right now audience or listeners is it's a larger ring but it's not like it but it's like solid metal work it's nothing like crazy like no jody or anything yeah it's just very finger yeah. it's very subtle and it just it fits under the one knuckle it's not like encroaching over anything it's it's, exactly. it's a nice yeah. ring yeah exactly but they make cool accent pieces if you're bold enough to use them if you feel uncomfortable wearing rings then like uh, obviously unless it's a wedding ring or something right like don't then don't do it but if you feel comfortable and want to change it up and add a little extra something it can be a cool accent piece yeah um, um let's do face real quick uh beards uh beards. I, beards are in i mean unless in. if you can't grow it though then sorry don't do it um but shave shave <laughs> I, if i could grow out a big bushy beard and like keep it well maintained i would but unfortunately when my beard grows out it becomes like pube face so i have to keep it pretty tight to make it look good um shave the neck beard neck, neck beard no neck beard. if it encroaches past where your chin line is then it's time to shave it yeah it starts growing on your throat then you're getting a little uh you know wild man i haven't seen a razor or like anything uh, yeah. not my, mine, bad, mine's growing but... down a little bit right yeah. now but um mostly because i'm trying to like grow out my like underside to make my beard kind of look a little fuller right now i'm trying to kind of let everything grow yeah. and and do the the mountain man and see Let where it takes grow. me exactly um but yeah normally i will i will do kind of what you do so yeah. and, and keep it um yeah just, just along I'll, the I'll jawline about like half an about half an inch from where it kind of grows naturally yeah. just to keep it and clean. then me i keep you know i call it like it's a good scruff work beard it's it's solid it covers a lot of my face but about once a month i trim it up just a little bit just get a fresh cut on there and also it helps take off any dry hair and just you know keeps it kind of supple and nice so that when i'm kissing someone or rubbing on anyone with my face it doesn't feel like sandpaper and I'm yeah also don't be it. afraid to shampoo or condition your beard yeah it's condition hair it. it's oh, yeah. hair you condition need to, it yeah. you need to actually like there's actual give it some treatment yeah there's care um, oils whatever yeah, you know. if it gets longer oils and waxes are important as well to help brushing keep moisture and brush it yeah it's, it's hair it's not something that should be ignored basically yeah um, uh speaking of hair haircuts i feel like the in haircut right now is long on top short on sides but yeah. it's pretty much whatever you want to want to rock i'm rocking a fade currently 
Fades are good. Faux hawks were good for a while, but I don't think those are in anymore. Eh, I saw someone. I, okay, I saw someone at my work though. Uh, they have California like shaved into their head, like the actual side state of, of California really? on one side, and then like the C is in the middle of it, and it spells California like wrapping around the, wow. the side of their head. Well, that's a bold choice. That's a bold choice, <laughs> yeah. Cotton. Let's see how it works. Yeah, well. it was it was an interesting choice. Um, um, I will say, if you're still doing it, please stop. Um, the like massive spikes like oh, like, uh, like the cone, spiking the cone every- spikes yeah. no just like spiking everything like when you you just like just, you, uh, the messy spikes, I, feel like, spike I feel like that's very 90s yes yeah, like, very 90s that's what i'm saying like, i don't think i don't think bleach your chips are anymore no. so yeah. i don't you don't really see the bleach tips too often anymore but i i will occasionally still say someone oh i have a sad story about bleach chips the uh, what you had them <laughs> yeah i had yeah. No, so i had bleach chips in elementary school when they were like in yeah i was like i fit in i was like oh this is really cool and uh, there was one day I went to get my hair cut, and I was like, and I was in sixth grade. I had bleach chips when I was in fourth grade, and in sixth grade, I was getting a haircut. And I used to do the, uh, my dad was in the military, so my hair was always short. It was either yeah. a flat top or, like, short on the sides and, like, just spiky enough where I could, like, spike it up yeah. everywhere. Yeah. And uh, I was getting my hair done, and I was like, oh, you know what? Like, I really liked having bleach tips. Like, so this is two years after bleach chips were in. Like, bleach chips oh, are not in it's, anymore. It's done. So, uh. I was like, Mom, can I get my tips bleached? And she was like, yeah, like, of course. And I'm like, cool. And then, so I was at the salon. I was getting my tips bleached and stuff. I went to school the next day. And, uh, you guys, I got fucking laughed out of school. Like, <laughs> oh. like every class I went into, like, everyone just laughed. And, like, at lunch, I got made fun of. Like, it was to the point where, like, um, I came home crying. And I, like forced my mom to go to walmart and get like hair dye so i could like dye my hair oh and then for the next and that was a monday so then for tuesday through friday i got made fun of because then i didn't have bleach tips because i got rid of them and uh i've never bleached my tips ever again wow. kids are cruel <laughs> kids are cruel kids are cruel <laughs> yeah fuck you kids that's kind of the the moral there Anyways, um, yeah um, I, I think it's pretty much covering uh glasses i like glasses um i don't like i used to not wear glasses but now that my face has had glasses i love glasses so even if i got like laser or contacts i think i would wear glasses with like fake lenses oh all right i can, <laughs> I'll, I'll be honest i can literally not do contact lenses i tried yeah I, something about touching your eye like if i had to do it i think i would do lasik but i mean that's kind of a lot to do before you yeah. go meet the family but yeah i i i tried desperately and because i was like oh, this is a great idea i kind of was like all right i've been wearing glasses now for like two years i'm ready to give it a change and uh i could not get the contact lens out getting it in was fine getting it out was such a nightmare and took three hours Wow. Yeah, I had. Yeah. When I first started, there was like once that took me like twenty minutes to get my contact lens. Yeah, off. it's just it something really annoying about the idea of like these little. Now I've been doing it a long time, folks. and I don't even notice it anymore. Um, <laughs> Are you hear stories about people putting like them in backwards? No, like, I've done that. Done that. Yeah, it's, it's, just, it's just slightly uncomfortable. You're like, my contact is wrong, and then you pop it out, and you're like, oh, it's upside down. Well, like you're backwards. Uh, right. Sounds good. Um, <laughs> what earrings, I, real quick. I mean, earrings. I had earrings and uh, hated. They're not like college. super. They're not really in right no. now. Uh, um, but if you if you wear them, it's yeah. not a big deal. It's wear like, wear whatever yeah. you're gonna wear with confidence. Yeah, Try I had, yeah. yeah, it was just like whatever basic makes hoop. whatever makes you feel say, the best. Sunglasses. Sunglasses. Um, really, there's like three types of sunglasses that guys should be able to wear. Yeah. Like once you're again like starting the end of the professional stage of your life, like late twenties onwards, um, wayfarers. Um, aviators, if they work for your face, they, they can work. look douchey sometimes. Yeah. Um, and oh, I'm drawing a blank on the type, like the name of the type. Oh. They're kind of similar to avi or not aviators. I'm um, wayfarers, but um, I guess from all of my stories, like don't wear like those like sports ones yeah. unless you're doing the sport. Ray-Bans? Well, that's a brand, yeah. not so much a style. They have a lot of different um, styles. Yeah. Ray-Bans. But yeah, I don't know. Like I, you see the guys that like wear like the. Uh, like, usually, like, Oakley's, I don't know, like, those can look okay on some faces. Um, but a lot of those, like, the really, like, sleek ones. Um, Stunner look, shades. You know, like, yeah, I'm like, dude, like, you're... Stuff. It says a lot about you. Yeah, you're you're not you're not doing anything right now. You're, yeah. you're standing in a Especially if you're going, all, like, for, to tie this back in the holidays, especially if you're wearing those and being a family. Like, right. it just says a lot about you. Yeah. yeah. Um, it should be a traditional type of sunglass. We got to wrap it up here, but real quick, I just want us to talk about, um, if you're also, if we're talking about, like, adult setting... Um, I know a lot of people have backpacks, but maybe you should go to like a messenger bag 
um, yeah, messenger bag, like a nice leather one. Or I have one that's like, mm-hmm. I really like it's brown. It's not leather, but it just, I don't know. A good it's a cloth bag, Yeah, it's a good canvas, canvas bag. Or if you're doing a backpack, like get um, a, a more like, almost like archaic style backpack. Like, yeah. With flaps and buckles or like. I've seen like like some cool ones with like the drawstrings like yeah. at the top, you know, like yeah, you know, like a rucksack not, type deal. Right, something that yeah. Don't don't walk up with, with a like, your Walmart Jansport backpack. Like, yeah, you don't look like it. It, it, it makes you look younger than yeah. right. You if, need to if be, that's going to be your day bag, to... like if you're going to say right. visit with your significant mm-hmm. other's family, uh, try not to avoid it. Just avoid it. Yeah, you know, like you know. I said, like it's it's sucky to say, but whatever you wear on the outside, people make a split it's, decision. It's a first impression. Yeah. So you want to make a good first impression so they get to know what's on the inside right. and actually learn to love you. Lead with your best foot forward, so to yeah. speak. So once again, I hope uh, our ramblings helped you. Um, you got to sift through that those uh, ramblings to find the nuggets that we impeached upon you. Yeah, sometimes, like our, sometimes our, our deep debates that wind into the weird corners of you know the nether ether. Sometimes you know. the, the imminent fist fight that is the polo button yeah <laughs> polo button <laughs> just, just, oh my god straight. we almost made it we yeah. almost made I just, it can can we just get some professionalism you guys no damn it um uh but yeah so that's gonna do it for episode 12 you guys i'm super excited thank you again for listening um have a great holiday yeah. uh christmas is coming up so happy merry christmas um if you celebrate I don't know. Hanukkah has already passed, right? Hanukkah should be over yeah. soon. Coming soon. up soon, I believe. Uh, so I, yeah, I think it's like a week before Christmas. You know, I celebrate Christmas, so Merry Christmas. But for all you other people that don't, happy holidays. Happy um, holidays. Enjoy the Christmas lights. Stay warm. Um, enjoy the spirit of the season. Spirit of the season. Please give. If you can, like, if you can donate your time, um, donate food to some volunteer thing, please do it. Think about it. Uh, a lot of times, this is the only time that people actually take the moment to think about the homeless or the less fortunate. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, just take the moment to like, you know, donate a couple hours. Cause it really does make those people's years. Yeah. Something to think about. Also, um, we want to thank you for donating your time to us here at chubby cat. Yeah. The chubby cat crew and the family. We thank you. Wish you a happy holidays. Um, check us out on the Twitter at chubby cat crew. Um, on Instagram, chubby cat crew as well. If you want to inter- uh, send us anything over email or any questions, uh, we're at, chubby cat podcast at gmail.com um anything else you no. like to add no um i guess that's it everyone uh just dress to impress uh set that right foot forward and as always rub it up chub yeah and manscape uh, well uh-oh.